This is inside video review for round 15, which are the matches played on May 27 and 28. I'm Greg Barkey, Pro's Manager of Video Review. Two reviews with varied outcomes. We will start in New York, where the referee has awarded a penalty kick to Philadelphia for this challenge by Thiago Martins on Julian Carranza. Possible. <clears throat> and is he playing the ball? He's playing the ball. Oh, just, just find the off. point. Find. It's a foul. Oh, but the foul is outside. Back up. Find the point of contact. Okay. Verify point of contact. And find. Forward, 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 forward. Yeah. No holding. It's forward. outside. Back up. Back up. Back up. Yep. Forward. 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 There's. Forward. Book it. Book it. Okay. That's outside. Now go clear the APP. Okay. We're going back to the APP. <laughs> yeah. Playing from here. Okay, okay. And find the pause. Okay, Back getting up. find a point. You need a trainer or no? Go no offside position. Forward. I have a review for dog so. I know. I don't have I file outside. And he has a penalty. Decision on the field is a yellow card to number thirteen. For with a PK, but it's outside. With a PK. One more time. Yep. Forward. Guido. This is Kevin. I recommend on field review for foul outside of the penalty area. Foul outside, and then you have Paso Doxo to consider. You're going to have to show him the. You can show him the right 18. Okay. And then you can show him the tight as a backup. Okay. And then you're going to have to get the. <coughs> What's well, a Doxo? Okay. From that. You know, That's a Doxo. Yeah, Dito, this is Kevin. You have foul outside the box. That's the point of contact. There is no hold, so it's a clear point of contact foul. Uh, all right. Where where do you have the point of contact being? Is it lower or upper? Lower. We can give you a tight now. Give him the tight. Okay, can I see what the top looks like? Yep. And now we can give you the tight. Over the line. Now, uh, yes. Is that not a push over on top of the line? No. I, I, understand, I, the, I understand the con I have contact lower and upper. Given the right 18. I have contact lower okay. and upper. And it looks like if you give One me a still shot of when the hand is pushing on top. And that looks like it's over the line. Can you confirm whether or not that's on the yep. line? Yeah, freeze it on the thing. On thing. Okay. I, Kevin, I understand what you're showing me for a foul lower outside. I agree with you. But while I'm here, okay. I also see contact behind the back. And it looks no like it's on the line. Judging. Then you have to consider dog soap. <clears throat> consider dog so because it's not a play on the ball then if it's a foul up top. So that's okay. the second part of the review. Okay, so can, all right. Second part of the review. Okay, let's let's start before and let's go full speed, please. At Back this up angle, and fine. full speed. Okay. <clears throat> With no foul, <clears throat> he has a clear okay. shot on goal. Okay, where, all right. Let me see. Go here one more time. I have a, oh, I have a heavy touch away from goal towards the touch line. Is that because he's being fouled and pushed from behind? It's before the, I understand. All right, I'm going to stick with yellow card spa, penalty kick, Kevin, thank you. Confirmed. The VAR and referee disagreed on this incident. The VAR having a tripping foul outside the penalty area with the referee seeing a push inside. There was also disagreement with whether there was a red card offense for Dogso. The consideration in question was whether Carranza would have maintained control of the ball. While there was still some contact as the players passed over the penalty area line, the pushing and tripping offense both concluded outside the penalty area. Pro would prefer to see the referee award a direct free kick and issue a red card for Dogso to Martins because Carranza had controlled the ball before the foul and was entering the penalty area with only the goalkeeper to beat. Daniel Saloy from Sporting KC scored this goal late in the first half that was recommended for review for a possible foul in the APP. Oh, That's man. a possible Take foul number the five. Number five. Yeah, I got it, I got it, I got it. Okay, let's see where he goes to. He's still oh, with the same APP. They're still going, going, yeah, they're yep. still going yep. at it. Okay, that's it. Okay, hold on. Yep. I got it. I got it. All right. What do you want it? Okay. What's the call on the field? What's the call on the field? It's a goal. It's a goal. It's a goal. Okay. It's a goal. So, They're checking. They're checking. Okay, uh, we're going to recommend the review. 
We're going to recommend the review for a file on the APP. And also. Okay. Uh, file on the APP? Correct. Okay. Okay, so we go to this right, challenge right here. Boom, yeah. right there. See? Right there. Okay, right stop there. it right there. You got right there? Right. Okay, so that's a good angle right there. Okay, right okay. there. I'm heading there, hold it. Okay, okay, so we're going to show that angle. You got it. Okay. <clears throat> okay, you're going to see number five right in front uh -huh. of you. We, okay, that's the point of contact, and we're going to see the extension when yes, you push yes, it in. Yes. Let it play through. Go ahead. Okay, backing up. Let it play through. Let, Let it play through. through, man. Okay, and then after that is when everything happens. The goal comes to score. But the goal is also offside. Okay, let it play through, man. Go ahead. And now, player touches it, and the number okay. 20 is... But there's uh, a follow on the APP first. Right, right. It's I'm a follow on the APP. Okay, yes, I'm so there's a follow on the APP first. Okay. All right, thank you very much, appreciate it. Uh -huh. The VAR determined that there was a pushing offense in the APP, while the AVAR identified that Saloy was in an offside position when the ball was last touched by his teammate. The VAR chose to recommend a review for the pushing offense by Daniel Rosero on Evander of Portland. He also could have recommended the review for the offside offense where Daniel Saloy gained an advantage and scored off the keeper's save. However, if you're watching closely, the foul by Rosero occurred before the ball was put in play from the corner kick and therefore was outside VAR protocol. The video review should have been recommended for the offside offense and play restarted with an indirect free kick. The final decision to disallow the goal was correct because there was a clear and obvious error in the APP. That's all for Inside Video Review for Week 15. The next edition will contain incidents from both Match Day 16 and 17. For more information, you're welcome to visit ProRefereeS.com.